But now India just have a day to regroup, to figure out where they've gone wrong, Gaurav, and it's not going to be easy knowing that this has been a problem with this team now, this middle order problem, this huge dependency over Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma, and the team unable to really do much in uh, their absence. What would be the way forward for the side? And a, and a tough game coming up, Neha, against Bangladesh, who've shown already in this tournament that they've got a lot about him in the, mm -hmm. uh, about themselves in this tournament. A few world-class players, Shakib at the peak of his game, so they, and they've already chased down a big score very comfortably. Uh, all of these factors will now play on India's mind because they don't want to leave it too late. They would start favourites in this game against uh, Bangladesh as well, no question about that. However, they will. Uh, uh, this this has really been a stumbling block and a reminder of uh, where they stand. I don't expect them, of course, to make any panic-stricken decisions. I'm not sure what the decision, what the situation with uh, Bhuvneshwar Kumar is, but that's not really a problem area because yeah. Shami's been uh, doing quite well. Although he had a bit of an iffy time some uh, in some phases of this game, but he picked up five wickets. So uh, I don't think they will. Uh, they panic stations quite yet. They will still feel like they've got good, uh, they, they, they'll have the measure of Bangladesh going into this uh, game. But yes, I mean, uh, I think their bigger uh, thoughts will come for uh, their uh, potential semi-final and how they want to uh, structure their playing 11 for uh, that game, what roles they want to identify, what players in, and whether those players uh, can, do the, uh, can uh, finish the jobs off for them. Mm -hmm. Because if Rohit and Virat have an off day, then yeah. this team suddenly starts to look very wobbly, especially with the bat.